let's look at some convex quadrilaterals. Now, we've got two little figures over here on the board, so watch carefully, because one of them are going to be convex quadrilaterals. So, if we start with the first one, I can let you know that this is the convex quadrilateral. This is an example of one. Um, the reason why this is a convex quadrilateral is because, firstly, all vertices um, point outwards. So see how all the vertices are going in an outwards direction? That's one specific um, key property of a convex quadrilateral. Now another one is that all diagonals lie within the shape. So if I draw a diagonal across there and across there, they're all within the shape. They're all inside the shape, aren't they? So that's another key aspect of a convex quadrilateral. Now another one is that all angles must be less than 180 degrees. So you can see that these angles here, these two probably look obtuse, which is still less than 180 degrees. Um, and these look acute, don't they? So definitely um, less than 180. So if all angles are less than 180 degrees, then it's also a key aspect of a convex quadrilateral. Now to satisfy a, being a convex quadrilateral has to satisfy all these key aspects. So all three are the main properties. Now onto this one. It looks a little bit more different, a little bit, little bit different, doesn't it, to that one. This one is what we call non-convex quadrilaterals. Now the reason why is because firstly, one vertex points inwards. Can you see this vertex is going towards the inside of the shape, which means this is one of the key factors of a non-convex quadrilateral. So one of them is going inwards. Now one diagonal um, lies outside the shape. You can see that if I join this diagonal with this diagonal and I join it up, it's outside the shape, isn't it? It doesn't go inside the shape. So therefore, that's another key aspect of a convex, a non-convex, sorry, quadrilateral. And finally, you should also know that one angle is greater than 180 degrees. So if you have a look at this angle, guys, it's a reflex angle, which is definitely greater than 180 degrees. So therefore, it's not a, this must be a non-convex quadrilateral. So non-convex quadrilaterals must satisfy all of these three key features. All right, guys. So keeping these in mind, let's identify which are convex and which are non-convex. All right, starting with question one. We're going to classify uh, whether these are convex or non-convex quadrilaterals. So this one, the first one. Think about it, all the angles are obtuse or acute, they're all less than 180 degrees. You can see that all the vertices are pointing outwards direction. And if you draw diagonals, if you imagine the diagonals being drawn on, they're all inside the shape. So this one must be a convex. So remember those key, three key features of a convex quadrilateral, it satisfies all three, so it must be convex. Now, if you have a look at question two, again, we want to classify if it's convex or non-convex. Again, the diagonals are all facing outwards. And if you draw, sorry, all the diagonals, the, the angles, the vertex, the, these vertices all point towards the outside of the shape. And now we'll talk about diagonals. The diagonals here are inside the shape. And also the angles are all less than 180. Nothing looks reflex, does it? So therefore, this is also convex. Make sense, guys? Again, I'm just looking at those three key features. Now, question three. Let's classify if this is convex or non-convex. If you have a look, guys, clearly this angle here is going inwards. It's going inside the shape, isn't it? And if I join these two diagonals, the diagonal will be outside the shape. And again, finally, this angle is a reflex angle. It's greater than 180 degrees, so it must be non-convex. It doesn't. It has. It satisfies those three key features of being a non-convex quadrilateral. So this one's non-convex. Question four. Again, let's specify. Um, the angles are all going outwards. See the vertices are all going towards the outside of the shape. The diagonals are definitely within. And if you have a look at the angles. They look like right angles to me, but anyway, whatever they are, they definitely are greater than, uh, sorry, sorry, less than 180 degrees. So this one must be a convex one. I think this is a regular rectangle, so it must be a convex quadrilateral. 